Oklahoma Society has given people a chance to sample taste from all across the globe. Mm -hmm. uh, taste of the World is a Saturday, November the 11th. Oh, it's all about food and drinks, wine, beer, spirits from all over the world. You can sample foods prepared by top local restaurants all around the tri-state. And we have a little preview uh, with some folks from Palomino's. This is Chef Billy and Taylor. Good to see you both. How are you? Thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having us. So uh, tell us why Palomino is getting involved with this event. We are one of the uh, top rated restaurants in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. We were invited uh, every year and uh, they keep asking uh, us to come back and back. And so this time we're going to actually bring out all the stops so that we can actually make a real big impact on, on to get those people to come to the benefits. Okay. So. All right. And how's it going to work there? Uh, you're going to have a, a lot of different restaurants that have a taste. Uh, Correct. There? Yeah. It'll be an Epicurean event. There'll be several uh, restaurants there uh, kind of displaying what they do. Um, I'm going to make sure that I'm the new guy in town, that we uh, make sure that our stuff is going to be memorable. Okay, so okay. what are you going to make for the yeah. event? You're showing us what you're making exactly. for the event Exactly, so we're going to have right? exactly this kind of uh, this size sample. We're going to make it a small meal for you. So we're going to take a little cauliflower mashed potato. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Is, is it a mix of mashed potato and cauliflower? Exactly, so it's cauliflower puree, uh, oh, nice. Yukon potatoes, a little mm. bit of sour cream. Okay. okay. Down in here is what we, overnight, we've soaked these that in. Looks Sinful. We raise these in red wine. Look at that uh, thing. Jimmy Glaze. We're going to take a little bit of sauce around the side here. I brought plenty for everybody. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, so. Palomino has been downtown for a very long time. Going on 20 years. Now. Going, yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I mean, I've been here about 20 years and about that long. Why do you think it stays successful when so many competitors are popping up around downtown? Well, we change our menu probably every year, and of course, Billy does a great job of uh, bringing in some amazing chef selections every month mm -hmm. uh, to kind of put a good twist on things. And uh, we also have a lot of healthy options. Uh, veganism is kind of a new thing, so we do have some vegan options, okay. vegetarian options, uh, a lot of gluten-free options as well. Yeah, when you set up set up your menu, is it you look at say, what am I going to be good at, or do you actually look at what's around you and say, what what's a good alternative we can have? Exactly, we we, we like to be able to have a, a options for the expanding food market now. Yeah. These days, people are really, really about the food and educating themselves and knowing what sure. they want when they come through. So having that selection and having options to a broad array of clientele is uh, kind of what I kind of pride myself on. Yeah. Sure. So there. you kept that taste really simple. You just put some fried onions on top? Fried onions on top. Um, we're going to be we're going to be dishing these out probably by the dozen when we get there. Oh, I'm sure. Or, um, we want to make sure it's uh, pristine, nice presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Would you, would you like? We would love I, to. Here, yeah. I'll let, John, I'll let you try it because I just want to talk for a moment okay. about the Leukemia and Lymphoma sure. Society, uh, which the Taste of the World benefits. I mean, they, all of the money that they raise goes toward researching blood cancers. Um, they have found cures for leukemia and lymphoma, and uh, they believe a lot of the cures they find can lead, be gateways to, le to leading for cures to, uh, to all cancers. And the LLS Taste of the World is on November 11th at the Newport Aquarium. If you want the recipe for Billy's Dish, the short ribs, just go to local12.com and click on the Get It Now links. What do you think, John? I think this is heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> heavenly. Thumbs up, Billy. Thank, Thank you, you both so much for Thank coming in today. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yes, we will. <laughs>